So in question number two of this third exercise, we have been given a set of values and we'll have to draw a graph for them. Let us take the first set of values on the canvas. Now here in the first part, we have been given side of a square and the respective parameter. We'll also have to conclude whether it's a linear graph or not. Let us first plot these points on this coordinate axis where we see that the side of square in centimeters is taken on the x-axis and the perimeter in centimeters has been taken on the y-axis. So if we plot these given points, we'll get a line graph where this represents this set of point, this point represents this set, this point represents this set, and this point represents this set, and eventually this point represents this set. So this is how we are going to plot the different side of squares with the respective parameters. Also, whenever we are drawing a line graph, we'll have to give the scale of both the axes. So if we observe the x-axis, we'll have to observe the x-axis for that. And we see that we have taken four units to represent one centimeter on the x-axis. So the scale of x-axis would be four units, which corresponds to one centimeter. Let us do the same thing to know the scale of y-axis and on y-axis again if we see here we have taken 4 units to mark 4 centimeters. So basically on y-axis we have taken 4 units to mark 4 centimeters. Now, if we observe the values from the tables and also the graph, we'll see that with the increase in side of square, the perimeter is also increasing. Hence, we can say that yes, it is a linear graph. So this is how we will answer the first part of question number two. Let us see the next part. So in the second part, we have been given the side of square and its res respective area. Now we'll again have to conclude whether it's a linear graph. Now to understand that, let us again consider this graphical sheet where we have taken the side of square on the x axis in centimeters and the area in centimeter squares on this y axis. Now let us plot these points. So basically we'll get this graph where these values represents the points on this line graph, which we, are, we have got. So let us first scale up the two axes. So if we take the X axis, we have taken, as we see, we have taken these small units and we have taken five of them so five units to represent one centimeter on the x-axis and in case of y-axis if we consider we have taken four units to represent four centimeters. So as we see that the graph is not increasing linearly, it is ex increasing exponentially. So we can say that it is not a linear graph. So this is how we are going to answer the second question of this exercise. 
To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.